Well, the first thing to do is to return to Whiterun itself. Hopefully we'll return during the, during the day. Somehow I doubt we'll be that lucky. Of course not. What do you need? Damn those gray mains do they wanna Gosh, I'm so close too. Avelstein Greymane and I were best friends as children. Ugh. If a traitor again, I'll throw him in jail myself. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. And while you're at it, you can get the hell out of my house. Idiot. Not late enough. Oh, there you are. Sword and your shield. Yeah, that's very symbolic. I mostly deal with very and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good bandit. Maybe I should sell the iron for making more complicated pieces that'll raise our skill more quickly. Ooh, I don't want to be doing that. You're someone who can get things. Got some good pieces out. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Have you been able to restock? I see that you have, at least a little bit. That is very good to see. Steel's too expensive to increase our skill in a reliable way. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Um, except the shop is locked because old Jolly over there hasn't come to town yet. Guess I'll just wait for him. I don't claim to be the best black. Oh, I thought he had already entered. What takes so long for you to open up the damn shop? Have you met my the finest weapons and armor? When you really, it makes it feel like I'm just asking too much of you. Finally, Warbanes is open. Technically speaking, I could go back to Riverwood and buy some of his supplies too. Well, we've got small hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Good doing business with you. Thank you. I help my father in more ways than people realize. 
Yeah, I'm sure you're a real saint. Practicing away. Pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Oh, I've seen the stuff inside. To protect yourself or deal. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Uh, I'm looking for an end to stupid comments, actually. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Sure, sure. So I think one trip back to Riverwood. Hmm. Should I go farther uh, west to Markarth? turn there. I mean, it might seem a bit tedious going back and forth, but I'm so close. So incredibly close. Can practically taste it. And that's a good feeling. Let's go back to Riverwood. Finally, we arrived during the day. Oh, it's good to see you again there, Alvor. Whatever. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Goodness, you've certainly increased your stock since I've last been here. Should I take the silver ore? I do have some... What well, do I actually? Well, I wouldn't be able to tell. No, that's not really necessary. Mm -hmm. Just need to get some work, that's all. A little bit closer. Oh, hell, I'm not going to get any more jewelry. I might as well just make this stuff and be done with it. This is more valuable, so we'll make these. here. Journey all the way back to Markarth. Oh, this is ex... I'm really excited for that ebony armor. Can only imagine just how protective it's going to be. All right. Oh, of course I arrive at night. You know what? It's already left so late at night. I think I'm just going to wait for the morning hour. Excellent. All right, rise and shine, rise and shine. Where are you, Gorza? Oh, everyone must be heading to their shops. We're not quite there yet. Well, I can do some, uh, smelting while I wait. They out of trouble, I thought. Mm-hmm. Oh, where is she already? This is ridiculous. I don't have to wait another hour just for her to get here. There you are. May your weapon, the finest weapons and armor. Just 
starting to run perilously low on gold again. One of the things you get used to in this industry. Until next time. piece of orc armor. Let's do it then. And back to dagger mass production. Oh, I think we're gonna do it. I think it's finally time. Ha 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 ha! Perfect. And now it's finally time to learn how to make ebony armor. Excellent. Alright, well, let's take a look at this. Ooh, we actually need a lot of ebony ingots. How many are we going to need? Five for the breastplate. Three for the boots, that's eight. Two for the gauntlets, that's ten. Three for the helmet, that's thirteen. And four for the shield, that's seventeen. 17 ebony ingots, and that's without actually improving it. Then we would need five more to improve it, so we really need 22. Right. Take a look. Except the problem is, we're kind of broke. That's a, a big problem, actually. I'm gonna have to find a way to fix that problem. We need, uh, what? We need 22, oh, right. We need six more. That's actually... A, <laughs> I could buy it. That's going to be a lot of money. Money I don't really have. I'm going to have to really push the other merchants in town in order to get enough. But if that's what I have to do, I'll do it. Let's see. It's all cold in a compound to about 2,000 gold. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Alright, I'll just sell some of this stuff. Garnets. I need the money. Nah, I need it now. No, my food is not going to be that valuable. The scroll... I need money. I've got lots of gold necklaces. That'll be enough. Alright, so I've... sold about as much as I can sell to him. In terms of potions I could sell, there really isn't anything I should sell. These are all useful for the kind of threats we had to encounter. I better get back to sorting the dry goods. But that's not going to be enough to buy the ebony ingots we need to actually uh, be able to do this. I need six of them, 380. That's 1800, 80. And six times is uh, eight times six. Oh wow, why am I spacing? That's 480, right? No, it's... F yeah, because eight times five it's 40. 8 times 6 is 48. 480. I need 2,000. And... Oh, wow, no. 1,800 plus... Uh, 480. I need 2,280 gold. It's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to raise that much. 
Maybe at the Hag's Cure. Yeah, making this armor is practically bankrupting me. Maybe I should sell one of these soul gems I have. Well, got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. You don't even have that much money. Whatever. I'm gonna not bother with these paralysis poisons. I need money first and foremost. Hmm. Should definitely keep those. Everything else is either resisting or healing or making us better in some way. Yeah, I really would be foolish to sell any of the rest of that. Oh, wait, I have an now, idea. You let me know if you need a cure. I can go talk to Kelchimo. Maybe sell off some of these magical items I have, like that staff. Hopefully that'll be just enough in order for me to buy enough ebony ingots to not only make all of the ebony armor I want, but also to improve it as well. And then it'll simply be a matter of enchanting it with the soul gems that we have in our possession. Whoops, wrong turn. So, this has all certainly come at great expense, but... It's definitely worth it. I have a feeling that protection value of this armor will be absolutely phenomenal. And that will make a big difference for us. For me. Good. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Staff of Mending. And the gold necklaces. And that ring. And that's just enough. I'll sell this gem, I don't really need it. Alright, good. What? Oh, goodbye. I didn't tell more. Oh, we finally have enough gold to buy all the ebony ingots to make everything we would want. We need six of them. Oh, this is going to be an absolutely incredible suit of armor. Not at the moment, Gorza. I actually need six ebony ingots. Thank you. Until next time. And now I am going to make the armor. First, the ebony armor. And then the ebony boots. Finally, the ebony gauntlets. The ebony helmet. And lastly, the ebony shield. And now I'm going to improve that armor. Beautiful. How does it compare, then, to our orcish armor? It is considerably better. Not phenomenally better, but definitely an improvement. Well, let's put it on.
Ho ho ho! Look at that. Alright, well, I don't think... <laughs> the pickaxe doesn't really quite fit the image. There we go. <laughs> Gotta admit, the helmet does look a little bit odd. But that is uh, definitely uh, quite a sight. Very foreboding. I'm kinda surprised they can actually fit my face inside this thing. It's rather tight, I have to say. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hm. Excellent. I don't think I like the helmet quite as much as the orcish design. But everything else is very good. Okay. Well, now we've got our ebony armor. I wonder if we can enchant it with anything. Two grand soul gems. Mm, we have three grand souls. Oh, it's a stolen tankard. Eh, we can probably get rid of that. Drink some wine and eat some apple pie. That seems like a suitable way to celebrate. As for how to enchant this armor, with the three uh, pieces of equipment we do have, I think we'll uh, head upstairs in order to handle that. I should probably start with things I'm always going to use. Things like the breastplate, the helmet, the gloves, and the boots. So obviously I won't use the shield when I'm using Volendrung. Perhaps I should try to combine different aspects of it. Like perhaps use the helmet. It's not a bad idea. Let's try that. Combining the helmet with this. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that actually looks much better, all things considered. And I don't think the difference in protection is all that exaggerated. Now let's stand up to the light and take a look at it. It's just so round and uninspired doesn't even really fit our face. 83 versus 77. I think I'll stick with my orcish helmet. As for the rest though, yes, the rest I'll definitely keep. Let's enchant our armor. Something practical. Fortifying health might be useful. Yeah, fortifying health. With one of these grand soul gems. Quib Quib's ebony armor. That looks good to me. Helmet? Oh no, right. I'm not going to be using a helmet. So the boots and the gauntlets.
Fortify carry weight. That might be useful. One hundred attempts. Fortify stamina. Hmm. Oh, and resistances. Maybe resistances are better. Well, what are the boots? My orcish boots. What are they? What did I set them to do? Fire resistance. Fire resistance and... Let's see... And carrying capacity. resistance might be the best choice. I could even make it somewhat poetic, I think. Quip quips cold feet. <laughs> that sounds like an excellent name. And the gauntlets. I think carry weight is the most useful thing. Got that selected. We'll call this... Oh no. Need to rename it. We'll call it... Quib Quibs... Um, ebony... Forearms. No. Ebony. No. Oh. Quib quibs ebony hands. That might work. Okay then. And I think I'm all out of soul gems. Very good. And now I think it's time to return to Whiterun and stash away the armor that I'm not going to be carrying with me on my adventures. What does my helmet do again? The one I'll actually be using? Hmm, bows. More powerful. Hmm, well, whatever. Yeah, I think combining the Orcish helmet with the rest of this is was the uh, a good choice. All the rest of the armor seems perfectly serviceable to me in terms of appearance and function. That helmet was absolute rubbish. Though I shouldn't sell it. Then again, I don't have any money. Maybe I should. Because if it's really disgusting looking, I'm not going to wear it. So what's the point of me actually having it? I'm not going to use it. Especially when I'm damn near made myself broke making it. Alright, fine. Lucky you, you got an Albany helmet. Thank you for the business. Let me know if you need something for At least now I have a little bit of money to my name. Well, now that that's done, I can't help but absently wonder... What's the next step? Daedric armor. Requires 90 smithing. And then finally dragon armor. And then, of course, there's glass smithing and advanced armors. 
elven smithing we learned how to do. Either way, though, I'd say we've accomplished quite a bit, and this is probably a good time for us to take a little break. I hope everyone's enjoyed watching. I'll see you later.